Good day, everybody. Uh, I'm now uh, introducing our recent study, uh, which will be uh, published in uh, Science Advances. And the title of our uh, study is Reconstitution of a Minimal Motility System Based on the Spiral Plasma Swimming by Two Bacterial Actins in a Synthetic uh, Minimal Bacterium. I'm Makoto Miyata from the Osaka Metropolitan University. Uh, thank you for the coming to our video. Uh, this is the outline of my uh, talk today. So then I will introduce first uh, what is origin of motility. So then and uh, another, the next uh, introduction is the, what is fire plasma swimming uh, which we use uh, as um, a kind of the target of this the reconstitution system. So then we'll focus on the uh, today's uh, you know the achievement and the minimal uh, motility. Then this is the cell evolution uh, focusing on the morphology and motility. So here it's the uh, sorry I should change the, the pointer. So here is the origin of the cell. So then it achieved a uh, cell wall and also the DNA segregation system. So then uh, they became uh, something like uh, today's bacteria. And uh, this system depends on uh, cytoskeleton, so the, you know, the skeletal the protein in the cell. So then in another uh, domain, the achir, so then they can use uh, more effectively uh, the uh, cytoskeleton the system because they don't have the cell wall anyway. So then the uh, Akia achieved the you know membrane remodeling by using uh, cytoskeletal protein. So then some of them became the Asgard Akia, and so then also the uh, uh, developed evolved to the eukarya, uh, including uh, us, the uh, human being. And some of the bacteria uh, quitted uh, cell wall because the uh, cell wall is uh, sometimes the uh, target of the natural immune system of the host. So then they became uh, molecules bacteria. Most of the bacterial motility depend on the, the cell wall. So then the molecules bacteria uh, lost a motility system, but instead they develop their own uh, motility system as many as three types, because the motility is the kind of the determinant for their uh, survival. Then we uh, summarize again about the origin of the molecular motility. Then this is the original uh, bacterial motility, so it's based on the rotation of the tail uh, called as the fragile. So then they lost the uh, uh, cell wall and also the uh, fragile motility systems. But if we see the uh, activity of the cell survival, we can see the, the many systems have uh, physical movements. So then uh, molecules uh, use uh, this, these systems and, and, and the amplify the motility and transmit it the inside a motility to the surface. So then they achieve the initial stage of uh, motility. So then uh, they uh, the polish their system uh, for survival. So then they became uh, the uh, molecule test the motility systems uh, today. We focus on this uh, stage and we tried, we wanted to the reconstitute uh, this system in a uh, lab. Then we focus on the minimal the synthetic the bacterium, uh, JCVI-SYN3. Uh, it was the published by John Craig Venter Institute, which is famous for the, uh, the genome science. So then, and uh, the, what is the JCVI-SYN3? So it originated from the molecules bacteria and uh, it has the minimal and artificial uh, genome. So it was the uh, you know, artificially designed by computer and the chemically the synthesized. 
So then it, uh, we can do the genome manipulation. And also, the, of course, it's not motility. Then I'm introduced up about the, the spiroplasma swimming. Now, this is the real video of spiroplasma uh, swimming. So then it looks like uh, uh, a spiral kiss, but actually it's the completely different. And also the, this uh, 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 microorganism uh, belong to the, belongs to the molecules bacteria. If we see the details of the, you know, the, uh, the morphological change of the, in the spiroplasma swimming, so then the, these are the frames from the video. So then this is schematic. Basically, the spiroplasma uh, is uh, left-handed. So then from the front side, the left-handed uh, shifts to the right-handed. So then the right-handed side uh, propagates to the, the back side. So then again, from the front side, it becomes, it turns, switches to the left-handed again. So then if you think about uh, the, you know, handedness changes the, from the left to the right and right to the left, so then you should you, you you can understand. So then you should rotate the you know tail side of the the shift the so many times. So then by this the uh, mechanism, so then this the organism uh, pushes uh, the water to the backside. So then they can swim. And this is uh, the cell structure uh, visualized by electron microscopy. And if we remove the cell and the side door by using detergent, so then you can see the ribbon structure. And this is the schematic. The gold part is the ribbon structure. So then we believe that this structure is responsible for the, the, this uh, the swimming uh, mechanism. So then I'm now, we are now the moving to the our you know the minimal motility system. Sorry, sorry, the, the, I I made a mistake about the, you know the coloring of the character. Anyway, so then this is the, the genome sequence, uh, genome the schematic of the spiral plasma. So then we can see uh, you know one uh, gene uh, named the protein, the uh, gene for the protein, the fibrous protein, and also the as many as the five molecular protein. I read uh, you know the explain a little bit. Uh, later uh, about the um, molecular proteins. So then there are the seven uh, candidates for the components of the ribbon. So then these are coded uh, on the genome of the spiral plasma. So then the, what we tried was that we uh, corrected the these genes into a single DNA fragment. So then we expressed that these the, uh, proteins in the thin three. So then uh, we see what happens. And this is a typical video of our achievement. The left side one is the, this is the, again, the spiral plasma swimming to real time video. And the middle one is uh, original since 3D video. So then and they are just spherical. So then, and also that they don't move. The, the currently we can see some movement, but these are the, just the uh, um, uh, brownian motion. So then the left side, is so then we express the seven genes in the uh, the synthetic cell, the sensory. So then we can see the helical cell shape, and also sometimes they can swim. So then the next, uh, we focus on the the role of the these proteins. So then we removed the individual and the each the uh, protein uh, from this system. So then here are uh, the typical video. So then the, these three are kind of the control. Uh, this one is the spiral plasma swimming, and this one is the, you know, the spiral uh, uh, scene three with the seven genes, and this is uh, just the original scene three. And we tried, uh, you know, deletion of the individual, the proteins. So then it's a kind of the different from the, our expectation, but so then, uh, you know, the, even if the, we, we removed, uh, you know, each genes of these, so then the uh, change was, was kind of it's the subtle. So that we, we couldn't see the, you know, the clear difference between the seven genes and uh, 
the one protein missing thing. Now only the uh, MRAB5, so then uh, they it, it it doesn't swim anymore, but still they, it is the moving. So it means the, the role of these the, uh, seven proteins should be redundant. So then that they have the roles of the overlapping roles. So then we uh, decided to uh, try the expression of individual proteins, but just the single protein, uh, you know, uh, not so much that uh, big changes that we 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 obtained. So then, so then we tried a pairs of protein. So then, I uh, the the maybe genes, uh, you know, there are the five uh, slightly different uh, structures of the the protein. So then, and also that we uh, examine the protein that uh, amino acid sequences, and so then we concluded that. Uh, five um, maybe proteins can be classified into the three groups, five, two, and four, one, and three. So then we try the combination, all combinations, and found that the combination of the five, four, and the five, one uh, give the, the helical cell shape and the, the kind of swimming. And the two and the four and two and one, they they gave the uh, helicity and the movement. but that it's the movement is kind of rare and that they uh, they don't give the any swimming, but still that they, you know, these uh, combinations, we can get a helicity and the movement. And all other, you know, pairs uh, didn't work. So then, and I, we focus uh, a little bit more about the MRAB protein. It's now uh, acting, you know, uh, relative of, of acting. So then, as you can see from the structure, so then maybe it's free, the structure is here. So then the, you can see the similarity with the actin uh, very, very easily. So then what is actin? If we focus on the uh, human the muscle, animal muscle, so then we magnify the muscle structures. So then we reach to the, you know, sarcomere sarcom uh, unit. Uh, this is the sarcomere. So then this is the, Magnify the structure of the sarcomere. It's the, uh, you know, the classical image from the electron microscopy. And then you can see the, the thick filament and the thin filament. So then actually the uh, muscle contraction is caused by the sliding uh, between the thick and thin filaments. And this is the magnified image of the sar sarcomere. And you can see that this is the thick filament. It's the made of the composed of the myosin protein, and the thin filament is and mostly the made the composed of the actin protein. So then, actin protein is is the you know the most abundant uh, protein in uh, muscle. So then in uh, then in bacteria, so then the, what is the role of the MRB? MRB so then it, it's not related, uh, basically it's not related general in other than uh, spiral plasma. So then it's, uh, uh, it's not involved in the cell motility, but instead uh, this protein is the responsible for the assignment of the synthesis for the, the cell wall. So then it the recruits uh, the synthesis uh, to the, you know, the the position, right position, the, where the cell wall is uh, synthesized. So then, this is the summary of the uh, of the our the, this this of our, our study. And uh, in the kind of the ancestor of the uh, the molecule test, the spiral plasma. So then they uh, they lost the cell wall and motility, but still they have the um, maybe protein. So then maybe protein forms just the short filament, so then it doesn't have any the, the movement, motility. So then some, the, you know, mutation accumulated. So then the uh, maybe uh, 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 developed to the different types. So then now, the, you know, we can see the different types of the of the maybe protein. So then if the slightly the structure is different, so then the, you know, the length the changes uh, along the, the axis of the uh, the single filament. So then it makes the, some curvature. 
And we know that the uh, acting does the re relative have the you know clear you know conventional change depending on the ATP hydrolysis. And also that we can expect that uh, you know some the timing of ATP hydrolysis uh, differs. So then it causes the, the shift of the curvature, and the curvature becomes uh, you know helicity, and it becomes also the 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 shift of the handedness. So then it causes the uh, spiral plasma type uh, motility. So then in our experiment, we can also say that uh, we uh, constructed, reconstituted the, the minimal uh, motility system because uh, in, my, in our knowledge, uh, no, uh, no other, uh, you know, such you know, small uh, system that which can uh, move the cell. And those in, and also that we constructed it in the uh, minimal cell. So then we can say the minimal motility system in the minimal cell. And uh, if we see again about the uh, uh, evolution of the spiral plasma swimming, so then uh, for the uh, efficiency and the robustness, so then the uh, Rebi protein that differentiated as many as the five types and also the another abundant protein, the fibril was the, the, uh, developed. So then now that we can see the, the spiral plasma swimming. And then uh, we can we can say that uh, we uh, reconstituted uh, repeat uh, this system uh, this does uh, uh, process in our lab and also at the same time so that we can say that uh, uh, this may be the you know the general origin for of the the cell motility. Uh, that's it. Thank you very much for your attention.